Oh, I love this question. How do breeder reactors work? And the reason why is that I designed my own breeder reactor. And uh, this I published it many years ago. I have a student working on it now. This is so exciting. It would actually work with some of the fuel being depleted uranium. That's how exciting it is. I'll put a, a, a link to it, a reference to it in the comments. The way that a breeder reactor works is that when I'm irradiating the fuel, when I'm burning the uranium by fission, some of the uranium, uranium-238, will absorb a neutron. And when it absorbs a neutron, it will then radioactively decay through the neptunium-239 to become plutonium-239, which is also fissile. So the regular uranium in the reactor is primarily burning with uranium-235, but I start to add to that uranium-235 fuel a little bit of the plutonium-239 in a breeder fashion, so that by operating a breeder reactor, I'm making plutonium by transmutating the uranium. I can also do that with thorium. I take thorium-232, it absorbs a neutron, and then that becomes thorium-233, which decays through protactinium-233, becoming eventually, through radioactive decay, uranium-233. So what ends up happening is I take fuel, like thorium and uranium, and I irradiate it and turn it into fissile fuel. So those fuels are called fertile, thorium-232 and uranium-238, and I turn them into fissile nuclides, like plutonium-239 and uh, uranium-233.